Hello genius minds, welcome to grade 6 aptitude and reasoning book and this is your chapter number 7 direction sense test. So when you understand the concept of direction sense, it improves your geography, it really improves your navigation, it helps you to read the maps very carefully and you are able to trace the directions very easily. Now we have very interesting game which Nilesh is playing and he is turning the faces of Gurpreet, Anusha and asking if we give a turn of 225 degrees clockwise, where will the particular toy face? So very interesting quiz which Nilesh is asking and Abbas is giving the right answer. You know, when we take a complete turn, that is a complete round of 360 degrees. So turning right at 225 degree, that is clockwise direction or turning to 135 anti-clockwise direction, in both the cases we are going to reach the same position. And here we are looking that if Anushka is facing Iqbal and when we give the turn of 225 degree, the face will be towards Venkat. And he gives the right answer and became the champion. Are you interested to become champion? So let's understand the basics of directions first. We have four cardinal directions. That is north, south, east and west. And when you talk about ordinal directions, we have four more directions. One is between north and west. That is northwest. Another is between south and west. We call it southwest. Similarly, northeast and southeast. So remember one very important thing that every time the distance between north and east is 90 degree, east and south is 90 degree. Similarly, south and west is 90 degree and west and north is 90 degree. And the same thing happens with ordinal angles also. So northeast and southeast are making a turn of 90 degree clockwise. Similarly, southeast and southwest another 90 degree Southwest and northwest another 90 degree and northwest and northeast is another 90 degree. And when you talk about 180 degree that is entirely half the circle. Now what is clockwise turn? When the turn is in the direction of clock it is clockwise turn and when it goes in the opposite direction of clock we say it is anti-clockwise direction. So this indicates anti-clockwise and this movement indicates clockwise direction. Now remember that direction sense questions always involve a successive follow-up of the direction to find out the proper direction and the distance between the two points. Now very important thing to be remembered is that if the starting and the ending point are in the same line, then it could be calculated directly by finding the difference of the distance. But if they are in the angle of 90 degree like we have it over here, then of course we need to find this as the shortest distance. And for that you are going to apply Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem is only applicable for right angle triangle. So if we have these two lines coming in 90 degree, then this is called base, this is called perpendicular and this is hypotenuse. And if you want to find AC, then under root of AB square plus BC square will give you the value of AC. This is how we get the value. Now look here. We come at the questions of sunrise and sunset. Remember one very important key thing that during sunrise the sun is in the east and if a person is facing towards north then its direction will be towards west and the vice versa. Similarly when you are talking about evening time the sun is in the west 
and if the person is facing towards north, this time his shadow will come in the east direction and the vice versa would happen. So keeping these small tips in mind, we'll be able to solve the questions very easily. Now let's look at this question. This is the house of a person. He first moves 2 kilometers towards east and then comes 1 kilometers towards south. Further, he turns to right and moves 2 kilometers more towards east and then he goes 4 kilometers towards north and here we have a garden. The question is you need to find the distance between the garden and the house. So we have to check this total length that is 2 km plus 2 km and over here this one is not 4 but 4 minus 1. So this is 3 and this is 4. We need to find this distance. It will be square root of 3 square plus 4 square that comes out as 9 plus 16 square root which is equal to square root of 25 that means it comes out as 5 understood take more example here we start from here Lakshman is having this starting point and from this point he moves 15 kilometers towards north and then he goes 10 kilometers towards west then he turns towards the south and moves 5 kilometers and then he turns to east and moves 10 km. The question is how far is he from the starting point? So the total distance this is 15 and this is 5. So here we need to just find the difference 15 minus 5 and we say he is just 10 km away from his starting point. Now take another question. In a garden, Nikita runs 50 meters towards west. So, this is starting point of Nikita. She is moving 50 meters towards west. Then she turns to left and moves 20 meters. And then again she turns left. And now she is running 100 meters. And from this point, she turns left and runs 20 meters now so this becomes her final point and we need to find that how far is she from her starting point so we simply need to find this minus 50 now this is 100 and this is ba that is 50 so we write down be minus ba 100 minus 50 and she is just 50 meters away from her starting point. So interesting. Another question with little higher difficulty level. But of course very interesting question. So here a person starts from point A. This is the starting point, And he travels 3 km in east direction. So once you make the pictorial representation of the map it really becomes easy for you to solve the question and then she reaches B and then turn left and travels 9 km so this is 9 kilometers towards your north direction and then reaches C he again turns left and travels 15 kilometers he reached D this time and B is his destination. The question is how far is he from the starting point? It's not a state distance. Let's try to make a triangle here. Now first thing is this is 3 kilometers. So this total was 15 minus 3. So we are left with 12 kilometers here. And this one was 9 kilometers. We write down 9 kilometers here. Now this forms a right triangle. We apply Pythagoras theorem. Clap for you. And we write down that AE square plus EB square square root gives you square root of 225. And you know 15 times 15 is 225. So we get DA as 15 kilometers and B becomes your right option. 
Now your time begins. For some questions, I've already given some images, but taking you higher to the ladder and make you understand how to draw the images, I would recommend you that before you start the question, make sure to draw the picture of all the four directions. Ensure that whenever the turn of clockwise or anti-clockwise direction is given, you are going to draw it. Make sure how much angle turn is taken and wherever you get the answer directly, you are going to solve it directly. And if you need to apply some Pythagoras theorem in some questions, that means if the question have angle of 90 degree and a right triangle is formed, then don't forget to apply Pythagoras theorem. Your questions will be solved so promptly and accurately. Your time begins now.